Hello amateurs and welcome back to our Six Nations series and I'm going to be here with you throughout the entire championship in 2024. So hit subscribe down below to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. This episode though is all about the Welsh squad. There it is that are going to be playing Scotland this coming Saturday in their opening game of the Six Nations Championship and who do I think is going to get picked? Who do I think what Gatlin's going to trust in this new era of Welsh rugby? Let's kick off with just some thoughts about the style of play. There are big changes. Obviously, you know, a lot of big players have retired from this Welsh squad. Being written off in the press, quite frankly. There's, I think there's some worry. I think there's some concern. I think people think Wales are going to really, really struggle during this Six Nations Championship. But... If that is the case, then there's no better coach than Warren Gatland to get them through that, to get them connected, to get them feeling passionate and to get them organised and fired up to take on every team that's going to come at them. So starting off with the forwards, let's have a look. Who do I think is nailed on to start? And as you can see, not that many. Uh, so Daft Jenkins, obviously the new captain, will certainly be starting in the second row. And then I, I think this back row is by far the best combination that's available to Gatland. Tame Basham, a real physical, both sides of the ball flanker. Uh, Tommy Raffel, is, there's a sh slight injury worry about Raffel. Uh, we haven't heard anything as yet, but as far as I'm concerned, he's good to start. So he will certainly play, providing that incredible threat over the ball that he does for Le Leicester Tigers on a regular basis. And Aaron Wainwright, who I think has been a, a fantastic kind of prospect. I still think there's more growth in him, but I think he's an incredibly talented player. And I see him dominating that number eight jersey. In the other positions, where I don't think it's nailed on, they're close calls all across the front row with, uh, I think, either Domachowski or Gareth Thomas providing an excellent option at Loosehead. And then two two hookers with decent amount of caps, Elliot D and Ryan Elias. Again, probably quite a close run thing. And then the big tight head, Leon Brown, going up against Kieran Azarati, who uh, came into the World Cup squad and did a pretty decent job there as well. So again, I think as much as the propping department is very inexperienced, um, relatively speaking, and below that, very inexperienced, they should have a decent starting lineup here. And the other second row spot will be a toss-up, really, between Will Rowlands and Adam Beard. I'd say Rowlands being the more sort of heavy-duty, thick-set carrying forward with Adam Beard being, you know, more likely to get a line-out steal, more likely to steal the ball off the floor. So, depending on what Gatlin wants to go with, he's got good options there. But what do I think? I think he's going to go with Domachowski. I think he showed up really well in the World Cup. Uh, which will leave Gareth Thomas to come off the bench. I think he's going to go with Elliot D, and I think he's going to go with Big Leon Brown with Azarati to provide some cover from the bench. Again, I've mixed and matched the experience there. Brown a little bit more experienced than Azarati, but Thomas a bit more experienced than Domachowski. Hopefully that will provide balance across the entire match. Okay, let's move on to the backs. Nailed on starters. And I've thought long and hard about this. And I really think the three quarters are what Gatlin will go with. I think uh, Sam Costello, a real intuitive kind of 10. I think you have to give him the reins, trust him. There will be errors in a similar kind of mould to Finn Russell. Like he's going to go for it. He's going to back himself to make the plays. And with that, there may be some errors that come along with it. But I think if you want to play that way, if you want to challenge defences, then you just have to accept that know that it's going to happen. And when it does, just get back on plan as soon as you can. I think Tompkins and North nailed on for centres. They've provided a great partnership there for a, well, it's a couple of seasons now, I think. And then the back three, I think Adams is definitely going to play. And I picked him at fullback to allow Rio Dyer and one wing and Mason Grady, who is getting a lot of Airtime at the moment on the other wing. Big Mason, a huge ball carrying threat, scoring a lot of tries this season um, from the wing as well. So that's the way I see the three quarters. Uh, the only question mark then in the backs is scrum half, where again, Wales have got two very good options Thomas Williams and Gareth Davis, hugely experienced Gareth Davis. Um, I am going to go with 
Thomas Williams, uh, I think Wales are going to want to play at a pace and I think he'll allow them to do that from the start. Being a game line threat himself as well, that'll take some pressure off Costello. And then obviously Davis to come from the bench. And what of the bench? We've mentioned most of them already. Elias Thomas Azarati with Beard and Mackenzie Martin, big number eight uh, to cover across the back row with a lot of those back row players, again, very comfortable playing in different positions. So that's all covered. Gareth Davis, Owen Watkin, I think out of the back line positions, they probably need centre cover more than ever, anything. And Yon Lloyd, who can literally play anywhere, I think. So that, that's what I think, who I think Gatland is going to trust with this first match of Wales' Six Nations Championship. But, but what do you think? Do you think that's the team that Wales are going to pick? Do you think that's the right team? Most importantly, do you think it's good enough to beat Scotland this weekend? And Scotland haven't won down in Wales for quite some time. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll join you there for a conversation. Give this video a thumbs up. While you're down there, if you don't mind, it helps other people find it as well. And um, subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. And most importantly, get out and play.